I think everyone has a beautiful story to tell. We always keep these smiling faces, these um, you know professional fronts, uh, but there is a vulnerable human being behind everyone and they have stories to tell. Their journeys haven't been easy at all. Whoever you may take, they have their own battles to fight. So I think anybody who tells their memoir, or make, you know, it would be really interesting to, to know um, about it. Uh, for me, I think I have loved two people very much. This is uh, Mr. Bachchan and Shabana Ji. I would love to know their takes on life. Well, I think I'm lucky. I have processed my emotions in my acting and uh, now I'm doing that in my writings. I think these two are uh, the two professions where you can really process your emotions and I'm lucky that I have both to fall back on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, I do get cast in all strong roles. In fact, there's been a time I said, listen, I need to change. <laughs> I need to do something else as well. So, um, uh, yes, I think I'm very proud of the fact that my mother has brought me single-handedly. I lost my dad uh, very early um, when I was barely seven. And uh, my mom has really been uh, an amazing parent. Uh, I think taken the role of both the parents and uh, really brought us up beautifully. And um, I, yes, I think what you get is what you give to the world. and. I do kind of exude that strength, not as much. I mean, I wish I was even one fourth of what she is, she was. And but yes, she inspires me to keep going. Uh, that she does always. And if I fall short of strength, then I just derive it from her, from wherever she is. And yes, um, I think somewhere that must be showing because I do get those kind of roles. And um, I'm glad actually because it's the other way around. People want those kind of roles and um, I have a plenty. And um, so, yeah, I think it's great. Yes, this is, I think, one of the best times to be an actor. The, the, it's a very democratic medium where... Uh, um, you know, earlier also, I think in movies, I had uh, started getting my own. Um, but the thing is, uh, still we had these proposals where you'd say, who is the hero? Who's the star? What is the name? Uh, that kind of has um, diminished with the OTT coming in because what you really want uh, to see is a good story, a good actor portraying that role. and. Um, I think the audience is lapping that up and somewhere it's very democratic where uh, your stars, your good actors, your newcomers, everyone is on the same platform and it's for the audience to take up what they want to take up. So I think, yes, it's, it's great times. Um, it's kick-ass roles. I think I'm doing both. I'm doing feature films, I'm doing OTT and um, I'm doing ads. Um, and uh, this is the best time. I'm doing my finest roles right now. I mean, touch wood, I, whichever set I go on, I'm like, oh my God, I'm playing this. It, it feels really nice. I feel excited. I feel nervous and I feel grateful. I actually wouldn't take up a role if I don't find it challenging. Uh, it has to make you nervous for you to give your best. There has to be a certain amount of nervous energy for you to say, yes, I want to do it. But even in that, if you say I, what what really made me excited and nervous was the Liche, um, was Badlapur, was um, uh, Special Chabis, was uh, there are two films that I'm, uh, there is a Dhakar and there's a show that I'm doing now with Raja Krishnaman and which I can't really talk much about. These uh, roles have been distinctly so different from who I am that I had to actually discover the roles while playing them. So they have been really interesting and uh, I have been actually very surprised <laughs> portraying them and pulling them off and saying, hey, wow, I had the side in me too. <laughs> and uh, so, yes, it's been great. And um, these two f projects of mine, which haven't yet come, um, is Dhakar and that show with Raja Krishna Menon, which I would say have been one of my most difficult works. Well, yes, I come from a non-film background. Um, I the acting bug bit me. Um, I wouldn't say I was just you know picked up <laughs> while I was 
walking somewhere and somebody i wish that happened to me but i had this uh, fantasy right from the age of 4 and i was an ardent bachchan fan and uh, i wanted to belong to his world of movies and uh, it was like i want to be an actor and i used and i was from a family of doctors so it was like i uh, didn't know how to bring it uh, except for giving my wish to the universe i had nothing else to fall back on all i knew was that this is what i wanted to do i wanted to be on stage i wanted to be on screen i wanted the applause i wanted the audience i wanted great roles and i used to do it in front of the mirror i used to do it uh, all the time keep announcing uh, in front of the mirror the best actor award goes to divya datta how in the world would i know this actually came true many years later <laughs> so yeah i think when you give it out to the universe uh, he does hear, it does hear it and um, Uh, so yeah i mean um, from age 4 to now uh, yes i think it's been a dream journey some things that you think are far fetched when you really want them they happen to you i think is a great thing mother's reaction was uh, very interesting in fact i i didn't tell her when i got selected in the stardust talent hunt i only told my brother who had clicked my pictures and we were partners in crime uh but when i got selected i had to tell her and uh, and i had my exams right um, after a few days so she i just went up to her and i told her mom i got selected and i need to go there after my exams uh will you be with me and there was pin drop silence for a while and then i thought i mean i should just run away or i'll get really scolded but she just held my hand and she said are you sure you really want to be an actor because there's a lot at stake for me then i said yes mom i really want to give it a try she said we don't know what the future holds for you but remember that i'm with you you know her saying i'm with you was the most 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 special statement that i'd ever hear and I think that kind of built me and my future and um, knowing your parent believes in your dreams is the biggest thing a child can get as a gift from the parent and that I did and I'm very lucky and very grateful to my mother and I think I've been lucky to have her as my mom The people I've idolized are in my book The Stars in My Sky there's Shabana Azmi there is Mr Bachchan there is rishi kapoor there is nasiruddin shah uh, there so many of them the shah sharukh uh, salman um rishikesh mukherjee gulzar sahab javed sahab you know you, you name them and are there and how they've impacted me and um, how i met them and how uh, you know it's been such a beautiful journey knowing them I realized uh, mental health is the most important thing. Uh, we kind of tend to ignore it and just, uh, you know, concentrate only on physicals. Of course, physical uh, health is important, but a lot of physical health is also dependent on your mental health. Uh, there are so many psychosomatic disorders. I have suffered from them, so I know about it. Uh, so yes, I think. Um, the state of mind uh, your your uh, support systems your uh, uh, how you nurture your 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 mental health is all so important these days because everything um, is what you perceive and if you perceiving things as as low and gone and lost uh, i think everything seems like a doom so um so to lift up that you do need people around you who do that for you who help you just come up your own state of mind your meditations your spiritualism uh, all that and um so yes i think you i mean it took me a while to get out of depression and i'm lucky that i had my family my friends and myself to to get me out of it um so yes i would I mean, really say that it is important, and we should not really ignore it at all. Well, I think everyone has a a beautiful journey which one is very passionate about, and for me, it is my film journey. I think it's uh, it's just not a profession for me. It's my calling. It's my passion, and um, I just love this place more so for the people I've met in it, and uh, the the way they've impacted me, and the way I have. you know picked up things from them in the most unassuming ways and directly as well so this this book is about that about those people 
has made it really special for me. Um, you know, well, while you're growing up, uh, also there are people you've looked up to, there are stars who've been your idols. And then you come and uh, you just um, bond with them on shoots, uh, otherwise, and how the whole uh, um, equation changes and how... Uh, so I, I think this journey is about that. And uh, yes, that these people are the stars in my sky. Well, it feels great to win the Best Actors Awards and the Best Film Awards uh, for Sheet Korma. I've just come back from receiving these accolades in New York and Dallas. And uh, uh, it's great how LGBTQ is being received, these kind of subjects. Uh, my thing is, let's not just make it uh, specific as such. We should normalize it more so that we don't make it as a separate issue, but take it as take it in our stride. I think we should respect people's choices. And I have seen the audience cry uh, with us in Shir Man. I'll never forget that. And I think uh, I'm sure they have taken a slice of the film with them and they, they uh, would see uh, differently um, after this film. So yes, it feels great. And now I'm looking forward to my, my, my book, The Stars in My Sky, with all the stars who have mattered to me. And um, so yes, I think it's a great time right now uh, with this launch coming in, with these awards having come. It's a lovely time and I'm grateful.